Welcome back guys. In this particular teaching video, I'll be looking at 3.6 inequalities on graphs. 3.6 represents chapter 3, section 6 of the person A level mass, pure mass, year 1, textbook. I'm going to start this teaching video by going through this coordinate grid and these two graphs. So I've got the curve y equal f of x and I've got the straight line y equal g of x. These two graphs intersect at two points, this one and this one. At this point, the x coordinate is A and at this point, the x coordinate is B. Suppose I have the following statement f of x is greater than or equal to g of x. What does this imply? Well, this implies that the graph of f of x is above or equal to the graph of g of x. So if I go back to the coordinate grid, I notice that for x is less than or equal to a, the graph of f of x is above or equal to the graph of g of x. Also, for x is greater than or equal to b, the graph of f of x is above or equal to the graph of g of x. So this particular inequality is satisfied for x is less than or equal to a or x is greater than or equal to b. So over here we've got f of x is greater than or equal to g of x and over here we've got f of x is greater than or equal to g of x. Okay, let's have a look at another statement f of x is less than or equal to g of x. What does this imply? Well, this implies that the graph of f of x is below or equal to the graph of g of x. So if I go back to the coordinate grid, for x is more than or equal to a, but less than or equal to b, we notice that the graph of g of x is above or equal to the graph of f of x. In other words, the graph of f of x is below or equal to the graph of g of x. Okay, so we have that this inequality over here is satisfied for x is more than or equal to a, but less than or equal to b. So over here, we have that f of x is less than or equal to g of x. So let's have a look at this particular example f of x is equal 3 minus x squared, so that there is a negative quadratic because the coefficient of x squared is negative 1. So it will take on this particular shape. g of x is equal 2x minus 12, that is a straight line with positive gradient because the coefficient of x is 2, which is a positive number. Part A, sketch the graph of y equal f of x and y equal g of x on their same axes. So that's what I'm going to do now. There you have it. So I've got the graph of y equal f of x and I've got the graph of y equal g of x. Okay, so in part b, it says find the coordinates of the point of intersection. So to find the coordinate of the points of intersection, what we need to do is set the curve equal to the line. So we have 3 minus x squared is equal to x minus 12. Now I can take everything to the left hand side, so if I do this I get minus x squared minus 2x uh, plus 15 is equal to 0. Okay, so we can solve this particular quadratic equation by number 1 factorising, number 2 completing the square or number 3 using the quadratic formula. So if I solve this particular quadratic equation, I get x equal minus 5, x equal 3. So once we've worked out the x values, we need to work out the corresponding y values. So if I take x equal minus 5 and I substitute into one of these two functions, I will get y equal negative 22. If I take x equal 3 and substitute into one of these two functions, I will get y equal negative 6. So for part b, the points of intersection are minus 5, minus 22 and 3 minus 6. I can label it over here. So this one over here will be minus 5 minus 22 and this one over here will be 3 minus 6. Okay so that there completes part b. Now let's have a look at part 1 of part c. So find the set of values of x for which f of x is less than or equal to g of x. So f of x is less than or equal to g of x implies that the graph of f of x is below or equal to the graph of g of x. So if I go back to my graphs,
Over here, the x coordinate is negative 5, and over here, the x coordinate is positive 3. For x is less than or equal to negative 5, we notice that the graph of f of x is less than or equal to the graph of g of x. Also, for x is greater than or equal to 3, the graph of f of x is less than or equal to the graph of g of x. So, this particular inequality is satisfied for x is less than or equal to negative 5 or x is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, moving on to part 2. So in part 2, we need to find the set of values of x for which f of x is greater than or equal to g of x. Okay, so f of x is greater than or equal to g of x implies that um, the graph of f of x is above or equal to the graph of g of x. So what we notice over here is for x is more than or equal to negative 5 but less than or equal to 3, the graph of f of x, remember this here is f of x, is above or equal to the graph of g of x. So this particular inequality is satisfied for x is more than or equal to negative 5 but less than or equal to 3. And that there, ladies and gents, completes this particular example. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.